wing lovers. As you know, I was in Phoenix, Arizona, where I had the pleasure of visiting a popular hometown brewery. It's called Four Peaks Brewery. I stayed in central Phoenix, right in the heart of the city, next to Chase Field and the Talking Stick Resort Arena. And check this out, the Collier Center. It's a really cool area with nice restaurants, clubs, and ice rinks. Yes, I said ice rinks. Let's head over to Four Peaks and get this wing review started. We are here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we're going to go into Four Peaks Brewery and we're going to do our wing review today. And the wing review today is going to be based on what I enjoy the most, stout beer. This one's going to be Oatmeal Stout Barbecue Wing. So it's been highly recommended by the websites and also by the locals around the area. So why don't you come in with me, we'll have a good time, we'll have a lot of fun, and we're going to try their wings, so come on. As you walk in, you're greeted by the general manager, Chris, and our server, Edria, who were very accommodating and provided outstanding service. Establishment was nice with a full open dining area and an Irish style bar that was full of customers talking, drinking, and enjoying themselves. As you can see, the Brick House wings were outstanding. The three flavors that we ordered was the Oatmeal Stout Barbecue, regular buffalo wings, and spicy Thai peanut butter. So here we are at Four Peaks, and we ordered our wings. And what we ended up getting so that we can sample all three flavors that they have here, and the staff's been outstanding, and this is their recommendations. So we're actually here for the oatmeal stout, which is this one right here. That's going to be my first try. Then we go over here, you have regular buffalo. And then here we have a Thai peanut butter sauce one, which is going to be pretty interesting because I'm going to be able to compare that to the spicy peanut butter one that I had back in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. So let's start out with the oatmeal stout. These wings are very hearty, very big, so that's good. A lot of meat, and just like I like them, a lot of sauce. Hopefully they're crispy and cooked all the way through. It's tangy, definitely got a barbecue taste to it. The wings are cooked all the way through, and they are crispy, so that's a good thing. But, uh, the sauce is like very thick, so I guess that's the stout in it, but very good, tastes good. I like this, this is really good. I'm glad we came to try this one. Now, let's move over to the peanut butter. The spicy Thai peanut butter. And again, I gotta say, these wings are really big, really uh, meaty. Gotta hold them with two hands. That's a good wing. It is spicy. The hot sauce takes over the peanut butter, but then the peanut butter comes in through the back after you're already chewing it and adds the flavor to it. So it's a really neat combination, but really different than the uh, spicy peanut butter I had back in Mount Joy, which is good because you got th different variations of the wing. But this one's interesting. So you first bite into it, you get the hot sauce and the tangy flavor, but then the peanut butter follows up after that, which is really neat. And then we got our good old regular buffalo wing, uh, hot sauce. Let's try this one. It's a good buffalo wing. It's just the right amount of heat, cooked all the way through. All of them were cooked all the way through, very crispy. And that's interesting because it's a really meaty wing, which uh, a lot of places, they, they mess that up because it's such a big wing, they don't cook it all the way through. And it's, like I said, crispy, a lot of sauce, and cooked all the way through. I think all three of these are a winner, but I'm glad I came to try 
the uh, oatmeal stout. I really enjoyed that. Now I have um, my cameraman with me, Rick, who I'm going to turn it on him, and now I'm going to film him, and I want him to try some of these wings too, and I want to get his his review on these wings and uh, see if he thinks they're as good as I think they are. Hey guys, I'm Rick. I'm the wingman's wingman for the night. I'm excited to talk, try some of these uh, wings, especially the spicy Thai. I'm a, a Thai food connoisseur, self-proclaimed. Uh, I love myself a good pad Thai. So let's see how this big wing here matches up. It's really a burst of spicy, tangy flavor. Uh, really comes right off the tongue. Um, let it settle in a little bit. You really do get that that uh, peanut uh, sauce coming through. Uh, uh, really a lingering uh, spice in there. It's, it's got a really a lot of good flavor. I mean, this is like a, a chicken pad thai wrapped up in a wing. This is a pretty neat wing here. One of the coolest wings I've had. Uh, the rest of the, the wings here uh, look delicious as well, but I'm really excited to uh, steal the rest of these from Wingman. I think I'm going to keep them all for myself. <laughs> all right, guys, we got a break again. As you know, we got to eat these wings. So I got my uh, crew here, my Wingman, with me. We want to uh, dig into these, and we'll get back to you after that. Thanks. Again, to wrap this up, the wings were outstanding. The oatmeal stout barbecue wings lived up to their reputation. The staff was outstanding and accommodating. And the atmosphere and establishment provided a fun and exciting night out. Well, that wraps up another wing review. Thanks for joining. And remember, keep the wing train rolling and enjoy life one wing 